How's it going everybody, Ben from Base Mew here and welcome back to the channel. Shrouded Fable has been released yesterday and the products that I'm opening in this video are actually, in my opinion, the three best products. So I have both of the special illustration boxes and I also have the King Gambit box. Let me just get the contents out to avoid any unnecessary time. And here we are, before we take a look at the promos, just here real quick, here are the code cards for each one of those boxes. Good luck to whoever gets that one. And let's take a look at these promos. Man, just getting these special illustration rares as promos is pretty interesting, pretty cool. We have the Kingdra. We also have these two, of course, the pre-evolutions with the Horsey and the Seedra. We have the Greninja. This is probably my favorite. This looks so cool. I actually can't wait to see what this looks like with um, Japanese texturing. I, I'm pretty sure this might be featured in the high class set towards the end of the year. We'll see. Maybe it is featured on the next one. We have the Frogadier and the Froakie. And here we have the King Gambit. This one is just a normal um, illustration rare. But still, look at the artwork. Man, that is top notch. Also the Bisharp and the Ponyard. So lots of shiny cards. As I said, the Greninja is my favorite out of all of those so far. And let's start cracking open these packs. So as far as I can tell, looking at the set list of Shrouded Fable, it just feels like a one-to-one -one copy almost. It feels like a one-to-one -one copy of, um, what should we call it, Night Wanderer for some reason. Why would they make a one-to-one -one copy as a special set? That doesn't really make any sense. That artwork of the Sylveon looks really cool though. Check that one out. Oh, we have it again. Nice. Let's see. And just a Blood Moon Ursaluna. And here's the code card for that one. So in terms of special illustration rares that you can potentially pull from, from this set, there aren't actually many, um, many great ones. I think the, the card that everyone will be after, or most of everyone, is probably going to be the Cassiopeia um, special illustration rare. Because that one does look pretty cool. But then <laughs> there are still some that are pretty cool. In terms of um, illustration rares, though, we are in luck. A lot of the illustration wares in this set are actually going to be really, really cool. Here's the Dusk Noir, and here's the code card for that one. Yeah, so a lot of the illustration wares are actually really cool in this set. Like the Houndoom is really cool, the Zoroa is really cool, of course. And then we also have the um, these cover Pokémon, of course, the Okidogi, and the other ones I've unfortunately have forgotten the name of. But here we are, let's see, maybe we can pull one, and then I'll remember. Then I will remember Drowsy. We have a Golbat, and just another holographic Cresselia. That's another really cool illustration we are in, in this set. I did get the, um, the illustration that is featured in this set. I think it was in, oh Jesus, what was the Japanese set in that, that this, well, it might have been Night Wanderer, yeah, it was Night Wanderer, right? If I said it's the one-to-one -one copy of Night Wanderer, then it might have been in there. I got that one in Japanese for free. I ordered the um, the Southern Islands Mew in Japanese from a Japanese seller, and they just added that card in for free, which was really, really cool. And that one looks absolutely stunning. Like, that is a really cool one. So far, though, the pulls have been very rough. Very, very rough. Wait, oh, hang on. There is the code card for you. Very rough pulls. So far, we wait, we just opened four packs and we didn't get a single hit. Ah, uh, don't tell me it's gonna be another Paldean Fates again. Although, Paldean Fates is length better than this set. Like, on first look, just look at the card list. And I, I already have a feeling that this set isn't gonna be very popular, in my opinion. I'm gonna open the usual, you know, maybe some of these special collections I'm opening now. Um, an ETB, and then probably, um, whatchamacallit, a mini tin. Oh, here we go, our first pull, the Fezendipity. That is a really cool one in the special illustration rear. Here we have the full art, though. So at least, hey, at least we have a pull. So we're not going home empty-handed. That is pretty cool. Really hope I can pull the special illustration rear of that one. Because that's like one of the few ones other than the Cassiopeia that are actually really, really cool. So here we are, our first pull from that one. Although, the good thing about opening these special illustration collections is that you do get two of special illustration rest, or at least one, depending on which one you buy. I bought both of them, of course. But that is super cool. So even if you don't get one from the packs, you still get one in the box itself. 
And in my opinion, the Greninja is the perfect one. Although, although the Kingdra apparently has a lot of fans, which I think, I mean, it looks cool. I have to be honest. It does look cool, but I still think the Greninja looks better. But let me know what you think. Let me know which one you like best. But without further ado, let's continue to open these packs and see what we can find inside. We have a Houndoor, we have an Inkei, a Rowlet chilling in a tree, Binding Moshi, Malamar, Gavantula, Beware, we have something shiny. No, that's just a holographic. Alright, so far, the pull rates seem to be pretty poor. I feel like, maybe, you know, maybe this sounds like a conspiracy theory, but I have a feeling that at some- oh, wait. Oh, that one is crimped, you see that? Unfortunately, it's only on the code card. If it wasn't a normal card, I think that might have been considered like a- not a valuable misprint, but kind of a misprint. Let's see what we can find. The app, so that's a cool illustration. I actually thought, not gonna lie, I thought cards from, um, whatchamacallit, from Stellar Miracle were featured in here. But then I remembered, no, um, Stellar Crown is auto-release in a few, few, um, weeks. Here is the new Reverse Energy. And that one is pretty cool. Look at that one. I really like the design of this one. Nice, we'll put that right here. Because that doesn't seem to be promised in, in every pack. Alright, moving on. We're down to our last six booster packs. Man, um, what I wanted to say, I don't think I'm gonna do, like, I'm gonna be so obsessed with this set as I am, still am, with Paldean Fates. Still haven't pulled a special illustration rare from Paldean Fates. But this one, as I said in the beginning, the potential pulls you can get from this set... I don't know how to put this, they aren't really that great, eh? Pheasantipity. Here we have another Pheasantipity. Man, we, maybe we can complete this set with the special illustration where that be something, right? Alright, the last five packs right here. Maybe we can end with a banger. Anything, not even a special illustration. Maybe a full art trainer, you know how much I, I like those. I tend to pull them for some reason. Well, I tend to pull them from Japanese booster boxes and Japanese packs. Not as much from, from English ones. Which is kind of odd. Why, why would that be a thing? Um, the Chorus, that's a really cool one. Janine, that's a really cool one. Of course, you have the Cassiopeia. And an Okie Doggy. okay. Here we have another one of these, and another Reverse Energy. And this time, a Leaf Energy. Here is the code card. Alright, there's also been a new Japanese set announced, and some cards have already been revealed. Among them, a Latias EX, which kind of may gives me hope for maybe a Latia special illustration rare. Man, whenever I see they, they like, um, release these new EX cards and it's a Gen 3 Pokemon, I'm always super hyped and I always hope they get one. Luckily, we do have Altaria. That already has a special illustration rare. Here's the Cresselia. Cool looking illustration, but just a holographic. There is the code card. And we only have three packs left. Let's see. Let's see, so far, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm right in saying this, but so far the pull rates have been pretty rough. Maybe even rougher than Paldean Fates, if that makes sense. Because, well, if you pull something in Paldean Fates, you know, like the, um, the Nomona for some reason, the Nomona is actually considered bulk, even though it is like a, an ultra rare, full art trainer, but it is actually considered bulk, it's like, what, 10 cents by now? It's like really, really cheap. Like, how can a full art trainer, like an ultra rare full art trainer, be like 10 cents? And I don't think, it's not even like that po That people don't like Nomona. I think part of the reason maybe that Nomona's effect isn't that great in terms of playability. But then again, I think the card is just too easy to pull, that's why it's like 10 cents. Man, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can pull in this one. Still have one booster pack left after this one. Let's see. Nope, just another holographic. Damn, rough pull rates. But so far, though, the artworks that we've seen are actually pretty cool. A lot of the commons as well. Or the rare, so to say. The Cresselia, that's a really cool one. But then again, the Cresselia also has a really cool art rare. Last pack, magics. Maybe. We'll see. Let me just reveal the code card of that one right away. There we go. 
And let's see what we can find here. Seedra. We got an Eevee. That's also a really cool one. Don't know why I skipped over this one. Look at this. Chilling in the in the flowers, in the shadows. We have a Krogunk. That's also really cool. Stuffle. Oh, the Beware. That's also a really cool um, illustration rare. Weavile. Cassiopeia. We have an Eevee. We have a Gavantula. And we have a holographic Tapu Bulu. So. Oh, and we have a reverse energy. So out of those three boxes, I ended up with these pulls right here. Um, let's... I know the energies aren't technically, like, promised in a pack, but there we go, that's that's all I ended up with. I mean, honestly, at least we pulled a full art, right? At least we pulled a full art, so it's not too bad. We're not walking away empty-handed, at least. Well, and we also have, we can't forget, I mean, this is the main reason, like, these two are the main reasons why you're buying these boxes, right? You don't buy them to open the packs necessarily, you buy them so you can get these two cards. Well, at least we have those two cards. Oh, I guess the King Gambit, I keep forgetting about the King Gambit. But there we go. That's basically what I ended up with. Um, I hope you still enjoyed this opening. If you did, then a like would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't, then give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button. Click this one first, then click this video. Check out any other videos in the description below. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.